Hey, I'm Kenneth Wajda. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photo chats. So I was just working for a couple who asked me to bring my wedding portrait studio to their daughter's wedding, and I did. But I had photographed portraits at their previous daughter's wedding, their other daughter's wedding previously this summer. And when I was there, I brought a four by five camera and I shot a few frames, just a few. And I shot a couple with the Rolleiflex, but I didn't shoot a lot. And then when I got to this wedding, they said, hey, did, did you bring that black and white camera? And I go, I did. And this time I brought a four by five camera to put on a tripod in my portrait studio so that I could photograph the bride and groom with a four by five since the strobe lights were all set up for the, it's a real full blown studio with soft boxes. And I usually shoot most people with digital cameras, but then when I did the wedding couple, I did them with black and white film with the four by five. And they said, we would really like you to shoot some black and white. And I said, sure. And that's a service I offer some people, but this is a friend of mine. So I was just putting it together for her. And I ended up shooting two rolls of black and white film in the Rolleiflex. It's a Rolleiflex 3.5 F and it's my favorite of any TLR I've ever used. It's small, it's lightweight, it's super quiet. I like that. And it's sharp. It's what I did the lake project with. But I didn't want to only shoot that. I also wanted to shoot some 35 millimeter. So I brought the Leica M5 with a 51.4. And I'll tell you, because of my glasses situation and the fact that I'm left eyed, this is a perfect setup. I can see the whole viewfinder in here Whereas I can't always see an M3 unless I do this and use the diopter. But I can see the whole viewfinder with this. And that was so good to work with. I ended up shooting two rolls of film with the 35 millimeter Leica. And then I shot two frames of the wedding couple with the four x five. And I'll put a link to all of these photos in the show notes because we should talk about photography. As many, many times as people love talking about gear, what do these photographs make? What do these cameras make? And I'm one to sometimes bring up cameras and I don't have photos to show because they're still filming the camera and I have more than one going, so it's not easy for me to always put photos up in links. But I do like showing photos that were made with the cameras I talk about. and. Today's post, you'll end up with two links. One for that portrait studio, including the four x five black and white, and one with the documentary work. And the documentary work was so great because I wasn't under any pressure to get anything. I photographed some of the ceremony, I photographed some of the reception, but just moments that I found, I wasn't worrying about getting the cake or getting the guard or getting any of the games that they play. I was just there to see what I see, which is actually the way I would really like to create a business where I could offer, go get your wedding photographer. They're going to give you a thousand frames. You're going to love them. They're going to be beautiful and digital and you'll have a hard drive, but I'll make 30 to 50 photographs put them in a little book. And that's the book you're going to take with you to dinner. That's the set of photographs that people will look at because nobody really wants to look at a thousand photos or 200 that they bring down to the final online album. But 30 photos in a book, in a nice leather bound book, beautiful black and whites. I could see them taking that everywhere. So for me, that's a really great two camera setup a Rolleiflex 3.5 F and a Leica M5 with that 51.4, which I never shot at 1.4. I often shot it inside, there was a tent, and I often shot it at like F2 or 2.8. 
and I didn't have any exposure meters in either of the cameras. The M5 has one, but I don't trust it. And so I would just guess exposure. And I've gotten over the years really good at guessing exposure. I know what is going to be outside. They got married in a sunny field. And I know if I'm inside, usually 125 or 28 will get me something on a piece of 400 speed film. And all the film I shot was 400 speed. So it's a good setup. And I would say if I only had to own two film cameras, these might be the only two. And I could do so much with them. I'm sure I like 4x5. Sure I like other formats. But these two working together, lightweight. If you only had to spend money on one set of cameras, that's not a bad setup. All right, take a look at the show notes. I will put the links down below and I hope you enjoy seeing the photos. All right, that's today's photo talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, hit the Patreon. Thanks to all my supporters. I really do appreciate you. And I will be back next time. We'll talk more photography. As always, here's the good light.